Hey guys, it's Steven here from uh, Steven's Classic Garage. So here we are back again with the HTE Black Widow Spectrum from uh, Harbor Freight. And uh, yesterday at 11 to 12 o'clock, uh, we sprayed the um, the base coat, which is uh, the Duplicolor Paint Shop, um, the uh, lacquer, the Molten Red Metallic. So that has been sitting for obviously a good 8 to 10 hours. So it should be completely flashed off. Yeah, it should be completely flashed off. So now we are ready to shoot our clear coat. The clear coat is the Smart Brand Classic clear coat. I have loaded 400 grams of clear into it, including the 4 to 1 hardener. And definitely I would suggest, just in case, use a scale. So use a scale, uh, I put 300. So let's go ahead and spray a second coat, guys. So uh, let's go ahead and go in there. Sorry that you weren't able to catch the first one. Uh, I will uh, talk a little bit more about that with the uh, mask on. Looks like my glasses are being kind of intermittent. So let's see if, let's see if we get a good recording here. So my glasses ran out on the last video, so uh, let's go ahead and give it another shot. So I did the same thing I did on the base coat. I shot a little tack coat first, opened the spray pattern up. Obviously I prepped it with the cheesecloth and did all that before I sprayed it. Uh, blew the ground off and the ceiling off two times. So I did a basic uh, uh, tack coat, the first coat, and even the tack coat looks really good. So I just did that basically to start out with, and uh, then we will um, now we will close out the pattern and do some more. So let's go ahead and get on the uh, let's go ahead and get on with it here. So let's go over back to our panel over there, and let's uh, tighten up the spray pattern just a little bit. Uh, I think actually that should be fine. That should be okay. So, let's do one more coat of the edges. So let's do that, let's start here. This is our last coat of the edges that we really need to do. I think I missed a spot right here. Let me get that. So let me double check. We're still recording. Okay, we're still recording. So I'm going to tilt my glasses down just a little bit so you can see a little better. So we're going to straighten it out. Okay. Okay. So let's start again from the top. I'm going to try to look more down so you can definitely see the panel. I do have my glasses tilted down so you should be able to see it a little better. Alright, so we're going to go slow in the first coat. I know you didn't see the first coat, but we're going to go slow and do a nice build up here. What the? Oop. I did not turn the nozzle. Oh shoot! My mistake. Oh no. So what we're gonna do? Da, 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 no harm, no foul. Let's think quickly. Let's fix it. Let's get a nice clean section here, and just gently. Gently rub on it there. Looks like the rest of it is okay. So, I messed up and I did not turn it like I thought I did. But that's okay. Okay, there we go. So we picked it up. That's fine. No harm, no foul. Let's just continue. 
Make sure that we are back. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, that's about as heavy as I want to go on this coat. So I think the uh, last coat will go heavier. We look good here. We look a little light down here. So we're gonna go nice and heavy on the last coat. I'm not gonna do any more edges. We should be able to get it done. So we should be able to get it done in one more coat. Up here it looks amazing. So that's good. We fixed most most of the runs there, so we should be okay. So let's go ahead and uh, go back inside, give it its 15 minutes, and then finish off the last coat. And we're going to give it nice and heavy, but we won't do the edges, so we'll save a lot of paint there. And we should be able to finish up. So again, my apologies. Stand by. My apologies for not being able to see the first coat, uh, but you saw the second one. First one's pretty boring. It's just a tack coat. You saw there I made a mistake. Don't freak out. Take a piece of uh, a paper towel. Don't press hard, and just let it under its own um, weight kind of wipe that edge, and it and the the clear will just grab onto it. So uh, we will give it this 15 minutes, and then we'll do the last heavy coat. Again, we're done with the edges. So that should give us enough paint left over. And again, this panel is straight up and down, so we should be able to get all of the paint out of the gun because it's straight up and down. And it's a, obviously it's a gravity feed gun. So uh, stay tuned. Oh, 15 minutes, and we'll be right back. And for the final coat. All right, and we are back. Time for a final coat to make sure we're going to do the best that we can. Again, not super critical because we are cutting and buffing. But I might be driving it like this for a while until I'm for sure that it is hard as it can get on this clear coat. So, uh, this is our final coat, right? So, uh, we're going to go a little bit heavier than the last coat. And so, we're going to make sure that we don't get too excited and slow down and get a nice even coat. Again, we're running low on paint, so we're not going to do the edges. Normally, I only do two coats on the edges anyways. Uh, so, we're going to start up top. Top, we don't have to go as slow because we're going to have a double overlap there. Uh, I might even do it just in one coat there at the top. Just uh, split the difference and then just run a bead right across the top. And then uh, we'll go uh, on the top and make our way down. And uh, we will finish up this. And then basically I'm going to leave uh, the trunk in there. Sorry, the door in there for about 20 minutes. And then we'll open up the uh, the doors, or 20, 23 minutes, something like that. Uh, we'll open up the doors. I'll get uh, get out of the suit, uh, do some chores and stuff, get ready for work. Uh, get ready to head to work, and then we're gonna pop the do uh, pop the doors open uh, and evacuate all the fumes. I'm gonna clean my gun. By the time I clean my gun, we're gonna close the doors. And then uh, I'm going to head to work and then it's going to sit in here and cure uh, and sit here for until next weekend. And then it's going to go outside and sit outside until uh, most of the project's done. And we're going to flip it over onto the panel stand and do the sides and do the inside. I'm still deciding on inside color because my brother brought, a, brought up a good point. If I want to do some sort of mixed like a red and a black or something like that or like our uh, yeah like a red or a red and black interior or something like that I'm thinking I just want to go with standard black interior very plain Jane on the inside and then pretty 
uh, pretty uh, uh, eye popping on the outside with this molten red metallic. So one more last recap. I'm going to split on the top and just cover the top in one coat nice and slow. Then we're going to move down to uh, going nice and slow on the rest of the panel. We don't have enough paint to do the edges so that's it for the edges and again we're not we're not uh, cutting and buffing the edges so usually I do two coats only if in any place I'm not going to cut and buff. And we're going to finish this up. Uh, put it on the timer, do some chores, get ready for work, and then uh, you know take a shower and stuff. And then I'll come back with just my my mask in my hand and open up all the doors, and then uh, clean the gun and head to work. And next weekend, do it all over again. All right. So uh, then, obviously, after this video, I'm going to shoot a video in here talking about the paint job, and then um, after that. Uh, you'll see the final review of the paint gun, which will be the final video. Alright, so let's go mass on. Alright, so let's do final coat. I'm going to point my glasses down here. That should be good. Alright, it looks like it's actually cleared up quite a bit in here, so that's good. So I'm not going to have to leave the door open for too long. So you can see how much paint I have left. So let's go ahead and start from the top and work our way down. Over here it might be too big to split the difference, so I'll just do it in two. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Don't get excited. Stay cool. Go nice and slow. 50% overlap. And finish up the rest of this uh, the rest is clear. Looks pretty good. Obviously right here it looks pretty much perfect. But it does look similar all the way around. You are seeing a little bit of uh, overspray here. I think uh, I uh, didn't have my overlap perfect. But obviously like I said before. If you do not have enough paint to go over it a third time, do not do it. You need to go from start to finish. This right here looks amazing on the top here. Uh, it looks similar. Obviously way more paint and you can see it's actually running right here. That's okay. You can see it is forming a little bit down there. And you can hear my feet sticking to the ground. But I think what we got is what we got. Do not have enough paint to go over it again because basically the cup is starting to taper down. So that's where you start to run out of paint. So. That's what we got. I mean, we slowed down pretty much as much as we can, and we have the the uh, material screw all the way out. So I think this spray is way better than the base coat, but you can still see that we do have orange peel. Oh, that's why it's running right there. You can see it. It's running in this area. So that's why it looks really, really nice, because it's running right there. And obviously the panel is vertical and the door handle goes here, but this is going to be um, cut and buff in here anyways. So it's always better to have more clear coat than not enough. So if it were running there, 
I'm pretty sure on the rest of the panel were basically as much as we could get. So um, with this paint on lacquer, it does texturize. It does have a slight, um, a slight, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It does have a slight reaction. Hey, where's my, oh, here it is. It does have a slight reaction, so it does texturize over time. But yeah, you can see we barely had any clear left. See that? Yeah, we weren't going to be able to do anything else here. So we're going to get as much of the clear out as possible. And again, I'll come back in about 15-20 minutes and clean this out. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't have set by then. It's got a, about a two hour pot life, especially at this temperature. So we will be back to clean it up. So here, final thoughts before I'm gonna go back in. So we do have a run here. It's starting to get pretty drastic. But again, it's getting cut and buff and that's underneath the, um, the door handle. But you can see here, you can't see anything anymore around this little bump of any sort of prep issues as far as i could tell i cannot see where those deep sanding marks are i do see we do have a piece of dust right there or some sort of lint or something but this is probably the best panel i've shot so far and i'm glad you guys could uh, join along you guys did miss the first coat but that's okay i'm seeing that we are Still recording so you got the last the second and last coat which are the most important so let's go ahead and go into the middle room and talk Ooh, we do have something right there too we got a piece there again garage paint job what are you gonna do and again as you saw in the base coat if I put any water on the ground it just absorbs into the concrete so let's go into the middle room here This has a this door has a nice seal. This door has a nice seal on the ground, so I'm not too worried about it. I do smell it a little bit. So um I'll go in here and look outside so I don't smell any of it. So um final thoughts. Uh I think I went pretty close to exactly what I wanted as far as speed at the end. You saw that I was getting a lot of overspray, so I think later on I'll probably drop the pressure because it's hitting the panel and it's just kind of curling out. Uh, but I want to make sure that I'm getting the atomization that I need so it just comes out uh, really, really nice. Um, so probably in the future it'll probably be turned down. But on this panel, obviously I have way less uh, fog inside the room compared to the bottom side of the hood because there was way more material I sprayed almost 500 or like 750 grams on the hood on this one I sprayed 400 grams so um, hood was almost twice as much material for two coats so um, with that being said uh, I think that this was a near ideal spray uh, for me here, um, it, it, it was really close. I think I could have went a little bit heavier on the last coat, but you saw there in between the two sockets, it was getting, it was running there. So, um, probably not much more heavier. So that was probably the most ideal coat I could get out of this gun with that particular setting. Again, I think you could probably go down to 25 PSI and be fine. Um, Again, you are going to have the mist because there is going to be a pressure wave when it hits the panel and some paint's going to roll off. So, um, but you want to try to minimize that as, mo as most, uh, but not compromise with atomization. And that will give you uh, better and better um, efficiency. So, uh, this is the end of the extra footage for the uh, clear coat on the panel for the 1965 Mustang door the original door to the car that has been uh body work has done been done and prepped by myself uh yours truly so um so far really really good spraying gun i like it 
uh, stay tuned for a video with my camcorder on this on this door and then uh, we'll do a return on the gun and then we'll do a final review so thanks for hanging along with me again I apologize that you guys didn't see the first coat but it was just a tack coat uh, my my uh, glasses uh, only recorded about a minute of that so uh, thank you guys so much for watching and uh, stay tuned for the last two videos of this series but so far uh, super impressed so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next one take it easy